I'm Hannah. And I'm Jeremy. And we are the Savory Suitcase. Yeah. And today we are at the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens for their special exhibit. They are doing a Roy Lichtenstein as interpreted of Monet paintings. So, so if you're not familiar with Roy Lichtenstein's, um, we'll put a couple of examples here. Yep, it's a pop art. Noise. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's of the pop style, the yep. pop variety of art. Um, so pop is very colorful, which is obviously very cool, and uh, it, it lends itself well to a botanical garden with yeah. flowers and plants and things like and that. And they've, so. they've recreated Monet's uh, famous haystack works, the water lilies, a bunch of different things. So we wanted to come check it out. We're going to basically make this kind of a quiet, enjoyable, relaxing music kind of video. So go ahead and sit back and plug some headphones in and enjoy. enjoy. We're going to share a little bit of information from the program we received. Selby Gardens' 15 acres are transformed into Monet's Gardens at Giverny with a pop art twist. The horticultural team at Selby Gardens, like Lichtenstein in his water lilies and haystacks, create inventive vignettes recognizably Monet, yet reconceived through the lens of Lichtenstein. These playful intersections between Impressionism and pop art greet you as you move through the gardens en route to the Indoor Museum of Botany and art where the Lichtenstein works are on view. Claude Monet once said, one does not fully appreciate a landscape in one day. And then, suddenly, I had a revelation of the magic of my pond. It was certainly his favorite subject to capture on canvas. Dotted with colorful water lilies and trimmed with wisteria, our pond features Liechtenstein's version of Monet's famed green Japanese footbridge.
In the 1960s, Lichtenstein took on Monet's celebrated haystacks, applying his distinctive Ben Day dots in primary hues. The color of the haystacks indicates time of day, yellow for the morning light and red for warm afternoon lights, cool for the blue and blacks for the nighttime. Monet painted his bridge from every angle at all times of day. Here the iconic green Japanese footbridge spans a pond embellished with Liechtenstein style water lilies and wisteria. The pop artist shared the Impressionists' admirations for water's reflective quality, which they both endeavored to capture in their art. Above all else, Gaverni is a flower garden. Lush Mexican flame vine and hyacinth bean adorn green arbors planted in Liechtenstein-style terracotta pots. Bordering the garden, deep flower beds explode with colorful salvia, gara, verbena, and nasturtium. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know if you guys know or not, but I actually studied art history in college. Um, it's been really useful in my uh, daily life because I work for a bank now. So, uh, but either way, I really enjoy stuff like this. I'm really appreciative that Jeremy came, even it was pretty cool to celebrate his birthday. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it's it, being being with you has has brought me an appreciation for art over the years. Uh, some of it I still don't understand. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I don't get well, why... Well, and this is kind of a complex... Why a line in the middle of the canvas is worth $50 million. <laughs> well, and this Banana is... Banana tape to the wall. Because... What does that go for? Oh, yeah, at Art Basel. I'll put a picture up here. Why? <laughs> uh, but this is uh, kind of a unique exhibit where yeah. it's two artists and their artwork together, you know, with Monet Mashed and Mashed together, two completely different styles. Yeah. Like, you're talking mechanical... You know, the pop art, mechanical pop art versus emulating the impressionist, right? Which is, if you know, you know, if you think about like the Monet, like any of Monet's paintings or Rembrandt, a lot of it's just smushy, yeah, smushy. So it's kind of there, but there's not really any defined lines. Yeah. So then when you compare that with a mechanical, very linear and dots and colorful, harsh borders, it's pretty cool, yeah. It's very unique. It's and, a mixture and of the mixed different in with medias, the gardens. Different medias. There was different like wood pieces, and they, it looks like they had to build quite a bit for yeah, it. The, for the they call them uh, vignettes. So yeah, it was very neat. Yeah, but Check I really, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, if you're in the vicinity, you know, definitely make it worth. It's make it make it part of your plans. Yeah, it's very it neat. was twenty five dollars per person. Uh, Jeremy got a discount, so it was only teachers and scientists. Yeah, only five dollars for him. Twenty bucks off. So it started February thirteenth, and it runs through June twenty seventh. Hmm. So a week after your birthday. Yeah. 
So you still have some time. Got some so time. And they said that there is going to be another installment. There's going to be a different artist pairing. Oh, yeah. In um, June, they'll in, do something in else. In June, they'll, they'll start up something else. So it'll be kind of an ongoing series. Yeah. But thank you so much for watching. We uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. As we were walking back to the car, I did remember one more thing. I have to forgive the fact that I'm a little red. You know, it's summer, so Jeremy's eating the rest of his breakfast already. <laughs> uh, but they do have uh, Liechtenstein prints here as well. There was no photography when we went in and saw those, so we couldn't film that or anything. But I think that kind of is a really cool element, too. So you can actually see some of the prints that inspired the vignettes that are here. So... Uh, keep that in mind if you plan on coming to visit. You got to go see those too. Okay, bye.